Hi, I'm Catherine Story. Welcome to my channel, House of Story. I'm just giving you um, a couple quick like tidbits up from my book, Artistic Rebel. And I think this is chapter three we're on right now. But um, as I started to, I, you know, I like to just give a review myself because I can't really remember what I wrote. Um, and it kind of choked me up a little bit because, you know, with all this doing and all this being and getting to the next level and hustling and, you know, it's like we forget, I mean, I feel choked up. We forget why we're doing this in the first place. And it's because there's a flame, like there's a flame inside of us that's, that is, wants to expand and express itself. And, um, you know, it's taking that time out to remember why you're even in this game, why you even um, love being creative, you know, and there is, you do know to need to know the business, some business things, you, uh, unless you have a manager. But I think even if, I think even if you don't have a manager, there are some things you should know that um, are business related to make sure that your, your life is being managed the way that you want it to be. So within this chapter, it reminds us to take some time just to be loose with like maybe no goals, like have, be in the studio. If you're a, somebody that sketches, take your pad out to the beach or a park, you know, just get loose with ideas. Um, don't even sketch clothing, sketch something totally unrelated, like find ways to um, reconnect with that, with that fire that's inside of you. Otherwise you can get, you know, you can really get burned out. And um, I, I really think that maintaining your creative edge, it's exactly what it says. You have to find your groove and how you get creative. And it's always goes back to knowing thyself. So if you know that you need to be in nature, then you know you need to be in nature. If you know you, an art gallery will inspire you, find an art gallery to go to. Um, do something, don't, I tend to get really zeroed in on trying to make something happen and I almost think that I'm taking a little bit of the life out of it by doing that and I need to, although I have plenty of fun, I, it's about like I tend to be a little hard on myself like like I'm not where I think I should be and we all have that that inner critic and that will definitely squash your creativity so be, go back to the beginning go back to why you love to create and design or if it's being an artist and you know stay curious about like well why are you attracted to that thing why why are you suddenly led to this book that really inspires you or this movie and why do you like that character like what is it that your like your inner flame is trying to show you about what you're seeing and trust trust the process and have fun with it and play with it so that's an important element, and this is as, just as important, if not more so, if you are really the creative driving force of your company, that you find ways to nurture and um, help grow and cultivate that creativity within you, which leads to more creativity, because our nature is to expand. The divine within us is always for expansion, and so that's why you want more. So it's not a bad thing to want more, but um, just in going back to this week for me, I was, I'm, I kind of was hard on myself that I wasn't further along and with my goals. And maybe it's not always about the goal. Maybe it's, it's like we say, it's about the process, not the journey. So I hope that you find some value in this. And um, my ebook is in on Kindle and you can get it for free if you're on Kindle, Artistic Rebel. Uh, the link's in my stand store. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for chapter four.